Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I hope everybody has seen the announcement of the Google I.O. event uh, that had uh, just happened recently of 2024. And there Google had definitely announced many things. One is the Astra project specifically for vision related things. And you could see that it was much more similar to GPT 4.0 that was announced by OpenAI. Along with that, uh, there was one more variant of Gemini model that was introduced that is called as Flash. And uh, this particular model will be talking about like this entire video will be talking about Gemini Flash will also show you the implementation with respect to the demo and how you can specifically use it, what this specific model is for, where you can actually use it itself, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and discuss about this. So Gemini Flash is our lightweight model optimized for speed and efficiency. Now, as you all know, there are three variants already that was introduced early with respect to Gemini models. One was Ultra, Gemini Ultra. This is specifically your largest model for highly complex tasks. Then you had Pro, right? And uh, I think I've created a lot of videos in my YouTube channel regarding various end-to-end uh, generative AI projects, RAG, document Q&A, and many more, right? So this uh, is the best model for general performance across a wide range of tasks. And one more model was something called as Nano. And this Nano was efficient for on-device tasks, uh, let's say mobile device uh, or any edge devices, IoT devices as such. You can actually specifically use this particular model, which will be able to perform all the tasks very much in an amazing way. But now the new model that has come is something called as Gemini Flash. It is a lightweight model optimized for speed and efficiency so this is one very important thing so here you can see lightweight fast and cost efficient while featuring multi-model reason so it is a multi-model model itself and a breakthrough long context window of up to 1 million tokens now this is definitely very huge with the help of 1 million tokens you can definitely do amazing tasks as you go ahead right so performance in the flask you can see it is having built for speed quality at lower cost lo long context understanding and it is amazing i have actually seen the demo and it looks very much uh, you know all the tasks you'll be able to do in, in an amazing way the speed will be amazing optimized the apps you'll be able to create right so we will be talking more about it uh, i'll be showing you the demo again with the help of code and each and everything so here you can see longer context now with the help of this 1 million token context window by default which means you can process 1 hour of video, 11 hours of audio, code bases with more than 30,000 lines of code or over somewhere around 700k words right along with this if you probably go over here there are various benchmarks with respect to mmlu new natural to code math where it is being compared with various variants of gemini right and here you can probably see most of the performance metrics there you can see some minor differences when compared to the other variants but the best thing about this gemini flash is that you will be able to use it for two important purposes one is optimization and one is performance right so you'll be able to use it but uh, uh, there are some more parameters like audio it is probably able to give 9.8 in video it is able to give 63.5 which is far much better than all the three models that are available here right uh, yes and then you can probably go ahead and try it out in google ai studio and collab also now first of all what we will do we will go ahead and build with gemini so as soon as you build it you will probably go into this now here I've actually selected uh, Gemini 1.5. So first of all, 1.5 flash, we will go ahead with a basic demo. Okay. Uh, like just uh, like in a playground. So here, let me go ahead and write, provide me a Python code for a tic-tac-toe game. Okay. So I will just go ahead and execute it. Now let's see how fast it is. So here you can see super fast, super, super, super fast. Uh, when compared to other models, I think uh, this is pretty much fast itself and it is able to give you the result. I've already tried it out. You can go ahead and execute this particular code. Um, there will be some dependency on the libraries uh, that you can probably use it and you can install it. Okay. Uh, and similarly, you can just try it. <coughs> provide me a 10k words essay on generative AI. Let's see whether it will be giving us 10k words or yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so I will just go ahead and execute it and quickly. Oh, explanation of that particular code is also given. So here you can pre pro see that how quickly all the content is being getting generated and how it is getting generated and all. Right. So you can definitely find out all these things in this particular Google AI studio. Again, just go to AI studio.google.com and you can probably check it out. 
to create the new API and because the next step that I'm going to probably do is that show you how you can use it in code. All the links will be given in the description of this particular video. Now, let's say that you have done this much of chat, right? Around 10K words essays also you are able to generate it. Uh, if you really want to know the code, so you can probably get the code. Not only it supports in Python, it supports in JavaScript, Android, Swift. So all this are there and it will probably give you how to probably use all these things. So in Python, this is basically the code, how you can actually do it. This past history and all also you can basically add it. And um, by, if you're using JavaScript, automatically you'll be able to add it. But just by writing some, some rules and condition based on that, whatever history you specifically want. Okay. So this is one of the thing. Now let us go and see one demo over here. I'll just show you that how quick, how good it is and how fast and efficient it is. Okay. So first of all, we will go ahead and install the gener Google generative AI package. Okay. So once this is probably generated and there are a lot of models that are probably coming up, right? And it is always good, right? And since I've created so many end to end projects, if you are following my playlist with respect to Google generative AI, it is very much simple just to use this specific model and understand this is a multi-model that basically means it can also understand text it can also understand uh, images videos and all right so here you have google generative.ai so here i'm going to probably execute this also markdown just to display some information um i have already created the api in order to create the api just click on get api and you will be able to create over here so i will just cancel it i've already created it because i don't want to create it again and in all all my previous video i've also shown you how to probably create this right so i will just go ahead and execute this and here if you probably go and see in my secret key i have my google api key okay you can create yours so that you can actually use this and just by using this user data you'll be able to get your api key like just you write user data dot google api key which is present over here on the same name google underscore api key so i will just go ahead and execute it and then we'll configure this particular api key once it is done now see in the generic uh, uh, notebook that was given by Google, right? You had two different models. One is Gemini Pro, Gemini Pro Vision. Now let's go ahead and list down all the models that are probably present over here. So for that, you'll just need to write for M in Gen AI dot list underscore model. Gen AI is nothing but what we have actually configured. And here you'll be able to see all the separate, uh, generated models. So all the, all the supported models that it has. And right now it has Gemini 1.0 Pro, 1.0 Pro 001, 1.0 Pro Latest, 1.0 Pro Vision Latest. So this is basically for text, this is for vision. And then what happened, they combined both of them and they came up with Gemini 1.4 Pro Latest. And then you can also see Gemini 1.5 Latest, which is again a multi-model, which usually is used for both the functionalities. And that is nothing but uh, your text and images, okay? So all these things are there. Now, what we are going to do is that we are specifically going to use this particular model. I'm just going to execute it. And here you can see, you just need to paste it over here, right? So now generative, uh, gen AI dot generative model, I'm going to call this specific model that is Gemini 1.5 flash latest. Now let's see the response time. And since I'm using a T4 GPU in the Google Colab, I'm just going to generate a content model dot generate what is the meaning of life, or I can just say, write me write an essay of thousand words on generative ai and all that are specific tasks you can actually do it like what we checked in the playground okay so if i execute this <clears throat> and here you can probably see with respect to the response time and all how much time it is going to take because we are generating a thousand words essay okay and we should be able to see the response over here right somewhere around 87.6 milliseconds so let us go ahead and see the text so here is the text the entire text that is probably even generated over here and it is getting displayed right so uh, this was the major thing and uh, you can do any kind of task specifically chat and all already i'm planning to create a lot of end-to-end -end projects using gemini uh, 1.5 flash that also i'll be showing you but i also want to give you one important thing with respect to the images okay so let's say this is my image that i'm probably downloading okay and let's say this image looks like this okay this is the image that we are specifically using okay now what i can do is that i can ask some information regarding the specific image what this image is all about so if you probably see over here i'm just going to write gen ai dot generative model i'm calling this specific model over here and model dot generate content image and then we are going to display the text from that particular image like this model will be able to understand what this image is all about and it will be give, able to give you the answer the image shows two class container filled with a mail of chicken 
rice, broccoli, carrots, pepper, and sesame seeds. These containers are, high, uh, are on gray texture background with two chopsticks and all the information are basically there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to write model.generate content. I'm going to give a, uh, I can also give my prompt. So here you can see, write a short engaging blog post on this picture. It should include a description of the meal in the photo and talk about journey meal peppering. And uh, here you can see I've given the image and I've kept that stream is equal to true so that I will be able to get the response. So if I just execute this, now it will be able to give us the entire uh, blog that is probably shown over here. But again, I'm just executing it in front of you to show that, yes, this is the entire blog that you can probably see. Now, similarly, chat conversation here you have, you, you just need to write model chat, start chat and keep on adding in the history, okay? So this in short uh, was a brief overview about this specific model. Um, the best thing is that now, uh, instead of directly using Gemini Pro 1.5, you can actually use Gemini Flash because it is optimized for speed and efficiency. That basically means you'll be able to get the response very much quickly. So I hope you like this particular video. This was it from my side. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.